I've been trying to capture this little woodpecker on this old doghouse we have out here. Look at the hole is so much bigger than what it made yesterday. Holy cow. The hole was tiny yesterday. He's just been over here pounding away. He's up in that tree. I've been trying to capture him. Come on, Binks. So, we still have not started our garden. <laughs> We've had a lot to do um, trying to buy the house. And we, I think we just had our last freeze, hopefully last night. So we're probably just going to keep it very simple this year. Some sunflowers, tomatoes, zucchini, cucumbers. That's probably it. Maybe some kale. So part of our loan we have to fix our deck so we ripped out what was rotten there and bought some plywood and painted it and we're gonna stain out here and sand it I'm gonna paint that white and I'm gonna make a little garden area over there and put a white picket fence around it so I think that will be cute but you might not see that till next year but that's my plans um, we painted our garage door so far because it had exposed wood and we got to stain the front deck as well so it's been busy hot binks good morning like i said outside it has just been busy jillian's birthday the house stuff um it's just been a little bit crazy i am i am so exhausted like mentally physically emotionally emotionally my dad was here too um that was a good visit i'm glad he came wish he could have stayed longer but he's in the process he just sold his house and they only have a month to find somewhere else to live so he's a little bit he didn't find that out like it sold while he was here and so he had to get going so he could pack up his house <laughs> they're almost done though i think okay so i treated myself a skinny vanilla latte with two extra shots like my coffee this morning was not cutting it I've gotten been getting like two hours of sleep at night for the last two weeks maybe if that um thank god for makeup right like I'm literally thanking god right now for um the under eye concealer because my circles are really bad Oh, it tastes so good. Worth the five dollars. Five seventy nine. It's that's why I rarely do this because it's it's a little ridiculous. And this time I didn't have a gift card. I was just like, you know, I dropped <clears throat> my daughter off at school because she was running late. And the way the parking lot is to turn left out of there with all the school traffic coming in is you'll sit there for twenty minutes. So I turned right, and Starbucks was like the sign was like, come to me. <laughs> So I, I went and I got two extra shots. Trash guys here, hold on. I also used some of my birthday money from my mom. She'd sent me an Amazon gift card and I've not been drinking enough water. Um, I've always struggled with the water thing. I'll do really good and then I do really bad and I'll grab coffee over water and then I've been back on my soda kick. Oh, I know you guys. I just don't even, I don't even know anymore. Anyway, I ha I know I'm dehydrated. My skin's dry. My hair is, feels dry. I My legs are starting to cramp at night, so I'm definitely not getting enough water intake. So I, I just needed something to motivate me, so I found this really cute water bottle on Amazon. I think it was $16. I'll try to find it and link it down below. Um, it's 64 ounces, but it's got little motivational things to keep track so it's 9 a.m you know hydrate yourself remember your goal keep drinking don't give up almost there you did it i just thought it was really cute and look i'm already ahead of schedule because it's almost 9 a.m and i'm already at the 9 a.m mark which is good 
I finished it yesterday, it was my first time using it and I was really proud of myself. In fact, I drank a little bit more than 64 ounces because it was done by 5.30 and so I refilled it just a little bit to the like the 5 p.m. mark and I drank some more and then this morning I put a bunch of ice in it and refilled it and been sipping on it. So it's cool. You just press the button and it's got a straw and it wasn't very hard to clean. I have a bottle brush so there is that. I'm working on my water intake. Um, it's just been stressful. My kids are going through a lot, um, so I have them in different sorts of like therapies and big sister programs and like CBRS, which was community-based support, and it's great. It's great for them, but the scheduling, trying to schedule six kids, and this isn't like sports or anything like that. This is to help help them with their mental issues, not issues, just I don't want to get too into it, but it's almost making me <laughs> a little bit crazy because just trying to figure out where everybody's going to fit in. And they do have, um, like the CBRS workers and the peer support do come and we'll pick them up. And even their therapist, if I'm struggling, she'll just come to the house and do an appointment, which I am grateful for. I'm just thinking it's going to be a little bit easier when school gets out because it's not you know, because I only have so many hours right now because I'm trying not to have them miss so much school. There's only a month left. The last day of school is June 6th. And usually I'm like, oh, I don't want school to be out. But I'm I'm kind of ready for summer and for the schedule to be more relaxed because with summer coming, that leaves more options for what hours I want to pick. Um, Jillian, Wesley, and Tiffany are also going to Northern California with my in-laws for a couple weeks um, so I won't have three kids at home. Um, Parker and Allie. Allie has summer school. I don't know if Parker does. She's got some, some stuff to make up but both of them are wanting to get jobs. Um, Allie will be 16 in July. There's a few places that will hire you if you're 15 so they're they're wanting to look into that. And I think, you know, honestly, working will be good for them, um, for myself too, but then I'll have to get them there. In Idaho, you only have to be 15 to get your driver's license, 14 to get your permit. Um, my kids very much want to drive, um, and I very much want them to drive. My problem is we cannot afford the insurance because all my kids, the way their birthdays and their ages are, it's all back to back. So if I do for one kid, I need to do for the other. So I sat them down and explained to them that they need to get a job and I will have to take them there, but that way they can start saving up for driver's ed and for car insurance to help pay for that. Cause we can't, <laughs> there's like, we don't make enough money. So Cheers. I've got laundry on the line. I also need to run to Goodwill. I got rid of a ton of stuff yesterday. I cleaned out my closet again, put out some more of my summer stuff. I can't pack up all my winter things because sometimes we get snow in June. So I left out a few sweaters, but I was going through my summer stuff and I was like, I didn't wear this last year. I don't need it. So I was just tossing it. I felt, I've got like six bags in the car. I went through Jillian and Kennedy's clothes too. And I'm like, hey, this isn't even gonna fit them by next winter because I switched their clothes. And I wanna do my utility closet downstairs because I know there is just stuff sitting in those bins that we don't ever use that just it's taking up wasted space so i need to i don't know if i'll get to that today but i got a lot done yesterday getting rid of things i'll show you the back of my trunk is full um what else was i gonna say oh mother's day i didn't even know until yesterday that mother's day was this sunday like <laughs> i haven't gotten my mom anything plus it's gonna be her birthday on the 8th my poor mother, mom, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. Your cards and gifts are going to be late. <sighs> I don't even know if my husband and kids realize that Sunday is Mother's Day. I don't even know. All right, well, I'm gonna finish my expensive coffee and get started with my day. Here's my Goodwill 
donations goes all the way back so I'm gonna go drop this off really quick okay I dropped my stuff off at the Goodwill so I'm glad that's done I didn't go through anything else what is happening with my hair I didn't go through anything else today um, I'm at Sam's Club so so far this month today's uh, May 6th I've only spent four dollars and 28 cents <laughs> we had burritos the other night and I grabbed some sour cream at the store and what else did I get was it lettuce I can't even remember but it was like four bucks <laughs> so I'm addicted to these Tyson chicken nuggets that they sell here um, they were on coupon last time so I don't know if they will be or not but they are so good and I've been eating them like every day for lunch um, I need some orange juice for Kennedy's meds um, I don't know I'll just go in there and take a look around see what's on a coupon and maybe do a small grocery haul Okay, I'm back from Sam's Club and I spent $98 and some change. Um, there's a couple things I'm not going to show. I bought a package of baby wipes. Those were $17.96. It's heavy so I just put it by the front door. And I bought two um, like sanitizing wipes, the disposable ones. Those were $2.24 a piece. I just left those in the car because those are for Kennedy's teachers. So here's what I got. I remembered the other thing that I bought the other day that my total was almost $5 when I bought the sour cream. I bought a little jar of like just generic crunchy peanut butter. Um, so I picked up two big ones. Adam hates creamy peanut butter. He only likes crunchy. And I do pack his lunch every single day for work. So that'll last a while. Um, we were almost out of Cheez-Its. Kennedy loves Cheez-Its. I do too. All the kids like these. So I picked up another box. Of course, Kennedy and her orange juice for her medication and smoothies. A big garden salad. This is only like $1.14 at Sam's Club. I needed some a fabric softener. This was seven seven dollars and some change. These were eight dollars, I think. Let me look. Okay, so they nine ninety eight. It comes with twenty bars, so probably not the cheapest thing, but they look they look really really good. So I thought that would be a good snack for me and the kids. I did pick up some more shells and cheese. Shells and cheese. Kennedy likes to take these to journeys because um, they work on meals with her using her fork and stuff. So these are perfect. Oh, they weren't on coupon. So they were, I believe, 12. Let me look. Um, hold on. I can't find it. So $12 for these. Totally worth it. And then I don't usually buy stuff like this, but I've been tired and... Sometimes I like to do convenient dishes. These were eight bucks, I think eight ninety eight a bag. So I got two of them, and I think I'm gonna cook one for dinner tonight. So that is what I got. So basically, I've spent like one hundred and four dollars already this month. So I was trying not to go. I didn't want to go over five hundred. So we shall see. I and mean, we do still have like a lot of chicken and ground beef. Um, we have steaks left and we have some ribs out there. We have fish. We have stew meat still, I think. I think we have stew meat. I might have used it. Anyway, I think we'll be okay. I am going to go eat some of those chicken nuggets because I am so, so hungry. It feels like forever ago that I ate breakfast. So I will see you guys next time. Make sure to leave a comment. I really love reading your guys' comments. Chicken tendies. Bye.